Praise God. Praise God. I pray that all of you are having a blessed day. Today is the eighth day of the 40-day Daniel fast. Remember, whatever you feed the most, that spirit is the one that controls you. All right. Let me just get straight into it. Praise God. Praise God. I pray that you're having um, strength doing this fast. Now, I do want to say something to you. If you fall, just get back up. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's how you do it. You know, um, let's just say it this way. We're all human. Some are processing more than others, heavier than others. Some are just processing for the first time. Some are just fasting for the first time. If you find yourself having a difficult time, do not be challenged to where you just want to give up. That's life. But guess what? You got to keep on going. So if you fall, just get back up. If you know you can't do it 5 a.m. to 3 do it to 12, do it to one, whatever it takes to work it out. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But what I want to talk about is this flesher hour. So I'm going to get straight to the point. Just one moment here. All right. So let's go here. Matthew 26, 40 to 43 says, then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Couldn't you mean your men keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. I'm going to say that part again. He says, 41 says, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. My God, my God, ever so words that are true. People of God or just people in general. Let me tell you something right now. Every day, every day, there's going to be temptation. I promise you that. But you have to pray that you don't fall in that temptation because here's how temptation starts. Us not walking in the spirit, but walking in the flesh. And people say, but we're flesh. Yeah, but what are you feeding every day? If you're feeding off of garbage, off of TV, off of lust, off of sex, off of drugs, off of alcohol, then that's what your body will crave. That's what your mind will crave. That's what your spirit will crave. But if you are sacrificing, saying, you know what? I'm not going to let that in my spirit. I'm not going to watch that. I'm not going to drink that. I'm not going to smoke that. I'm not going to have sex. Y'all get what I'm saying. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So whatever you feed, that's what you would desire. Desire. So if you feed on these things, that's, hey, that's what's going to happen to you. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I promise you nothing good comes easy. Come on, somebody. There's always going to be a test, a trial, and a temptation. I guarantee you. But here's the deal. How do you beat it? You have to fast and pray. Come on, somebody. Notice what he said. Could you not watch? He said, so that's the first thing you got to do is watch. Most people are just having fun. The world, let me tell y'all something what these movies didn't did. That, these, these movies that did that. You see, they didn't have that in biblical times. So they had a hard time. Don't get it wrong. But we have more temptation. We got the movies. We got the music. We got this. We got that. These things are trying to take your imagination. Trying to tell you, come out and play. Come out and have fun. And guess what? What they don't tell you is what's going to happen to you while you having that fun and after you have that fun y'all ain't ready for me today every time i'm gonna go personal like i always do transparent every time i had so much fun i regretted it every time i'm gonna say that again every time but when i keep my peace when i keep my spirit when i make good choices there is no regrets come on somebody hallelujah because even when i fall i don't fall y'all y'all hear what i'm just saying up in here because when God keeps you, he keeps you. And I'm not saying everything going to be, you know, hunky-dory. But I tell you one thing. When you are kept by God, even the good and the bad work together for those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So even when I fall, come on, somebody. God said, that's all right. You learned something. That's all right. You understand. That's all right. You won't do that again. So you have to make good choices. You got to make good choices. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's just life. Life is not just fun. And life is serious. It's sad how people just, even people of God, most of y'all, I'm serious. Y'all just, y'all playing. Y'all love to play until, until that real stuff come. Oh, I just said something. You see, that's why he said, and I'm going back to that scripture because there's so much in that scripture that you can peel back. Notice what he said. He returned and found them sleeping. Y'all know how many people sleeping right now? Oh, come on, somebody. He said, couldn't you men keep watch? Come on, somebody. Keep watch. How many of y'all keep on watch for real? Come on, somebody, don't play. How many of you? And then he come back and he said it again in 41. He says, watch. Notice that. That was in 40. He says, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. Oh, come on, somebody. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You can say what you want to say. If you don't pray, you won't stay. Come on, somebody. If you don't pray, you won't be strong. 
And I'm not just talking about prayer, getting in your Bible. Because the flesh, the flesh wants to have fun. Oh, come on, somebody. That flesh will take you on journeys that you don't really want to go. How the, how the old folks used to say, sin will uh, make you go there and make you pay longer than you want to pay and longer than you want to stay. Come on, somebody. So I'm just telling you right now, this is, it's very, um, it's a crucial time in the body of Christ. Because believe it or not, a lot of people are falling. And you know why they're falling? Off of their emotional, their anger, all kind of stuff. Instead of being quiet, let me tell you, and I said this before, and I'm going to reiterate it. You really want to hear God? Get quiet. You want to hear instructions? Get quiet. You want to know truth? Get quiet. Because he's going to always talk to you. You know, I read something once, and I'll end it with this. One of man's greatest fears is being alone. Because when you're alone, the Spirit will talk to you. When you're quiet, the Spirit will talk to you. And that's why I noticed, I, I want to ask y'all something. How many people you know, they can't stand quietness? They got to have the, the radio going. They got to be in their phone. Y'all don't understand what the enemy did. The enemy came and put all kind of distractions right there in our face. Anything to pull us away from God. Anything to get capture our attention. Anything. And I'm telling you right now, I never knew the order I got that I would love peace the way I love peace. That I would think before I say things. That I would think before I do things. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Y'all better start thinking. The enemy is taking people out. Especially Christians in this hour. Like never before. And you know what he's using? Men. Women. Lust. Sex. Money. Success. Oh, did I say that? Oh, yeah. I want to. Some of y'all will do anything to get that bag. <laughs> I said how I said it. Some of y'all do anything. How far will you go? And then talk about it's a blessing from God. What you did to get it. If it, if it was sin, then you are a liar. I'm sorry. Am I too real for y'all? If God will never tell you to sin to win. God will never do that. So you cannot say that's God. And some of y'all will put God on. It have to be God. God would never tell you to go out of character and do it. Come on, somebody. mm, -mm. God will never do that. So I just want you to be mindful of what you do. Mindful of what you say. Mindful of what you allow your spirit to feed on in this hour. You have to make good choices. You don't eat at everybody's table. Point blank in the story. I don't care how fine. I don't care how much money. I don't care how much whatever. If my spirit picks up something, I'm out of there so quick and make a make the hay spin. <laughs> Y'all think it's a game. So, um... Be mindful, make good choices. Remember to guard your spirit, your eye gate, your ear gate, all the gates. Don't like y'all don't know what gates, even the personal ones. Can't just in this. You know what I noticed, y'all? They have so many. If y'all flip through the TV, even if you don't watch TV that much, I want you, I want you to um do this assignment. Okay, I'm gonna call it an assignment. Go through the television channels and see how many um how new shows they got called witches, warlocks, and I mean, everything with the Bible, if you look at it, the names, I want you to pay attention to the names on Netflix, on all over. If y'all don't see that they are promoting witchcraft like never before, then you're not paying attention. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. Y'all not paying attention. Are you scared? Because some of y'all think, well, if I don't talk about it, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> okay, you deceived because it's already happening. So I just pray that y'all be encouraged, be strong in this hour, make good choices. Um, don't be too hard on yourself. Forgive yourselves. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Walk in forgiveness. Learn to keep your emotions out of balance. Learn to speak out of balance. You know, stop being all angry and, oh, God, stop cursing. Stop being loud. You know, <laughs> I used to do like that too. I ain't gonna lie. When I would um, get mad, I start hollering. You know when people holler, you think because because you're being loud, you're being heard, or you think that you're being loud, you win the conversation. No, you don't. It just shows how ignorant you are. Did I just say that? I sure did. All right. So God bless you. God keep you. And I pray that you all have a blessed day. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.